plain static text is just boring. So in this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you a few ways on how to add textures to text. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel. All right, let's dive right in. I've already added some boring static text. Let's make it more unique though and give it a slightly scribbled style. We head over to the effects and presets window to search turbulent displays. Add it and change some of the settings of course. The amount to five, size to 10 and the complexity to 10 as well. And we animate the evolution with an expression by clicking on the stopwatch symbol while holding Alt or Option. Then add time asterisk 1000 which means the evolution changes by 1000 degrees per second. We add a second layer of animation and duplicate the effect. Increase the size to 50. Finally, we reduce the frame rate at posterized time. Here we go. Set it to 4 frames per second. Awesome. All the values I use I figured out for myself beforehand, so I highly recommend playing around with all the effect settings and explore what happens if you use different ones. Let's use what we just created and turn it into something different. We swap fill in stroke in the character window. Stroke width? 2 pixels and duplicate the text layer. Then we open evolution options in the second turbulent displays effect and change the random seed to get a different animation pattern. Let's change the first one as well and it looks more like two lines. Let's increase the amount of the second effect to 10 to make it more obvious. Awesome! We want the lines to disappear in some parts to make it look rougher. Let's add a new solid, command or control Y, color white. It doesn't matter actually. And let's name it mask, because we use luminosity as mask. Therefore, we add turbulent noise. Set contrast to around 730. Complexity to six. Let's animate the evolution again with a time expression. Time asterisk 100. And we add posterized time and reduce the frame rate to four. Finally, we use it as luma track mat for both text layers. You can switch here between Luma Matte and Alpha Matte. Awesome! Before we move on, let's check out an amazing animation course by Domestica. Learn how to create expressive typography in motion with After Effects. Design letter forms in Illustrator and animate them in After Effects. Start with research and references. Color, then design a lettered phrase in Illustrator. In After Effects, animate it using kinetic typography. I've added the link to this course and all animation courses to the description. And even better, use the code manual motion 10 for an extra 10% off. Next, let's cut diagonal lines out of letters. We add a new white solid above our text. Name it mask again. Then we add Venetian blinds. Set transition completion to 85%. The direction to 45 degrees. The width is 20. We created diagonal lines that we need to mess up a little. So we add roughen edges, set border to one, scale to 100, complexity to two. We animate the evolution with a time expression, time asterisk 500 this time. On top of that, we add turbulent displays to animate the lines overall. Amount 25, size 10. Of course, we animate the evolution with a time expression. Time asterisk 500. And last but not least, we add posterized time to reduce the frame rate. Eight frames per second this time. And let's actually cut the lines out. We use it as Luma track mat for the text layer. Next, let's add a glitch effect. I've already added a plain white solid. Use it as Luma track mat for the text layer. Then let's add turbulent noise again. Contrast 865, brightness 30. In transform, we deselect uniform scaling and set the scale width to 5000, scale height to 5. And of course, we animate the evolution with a time expression, time asterisk 5000. And guess what? We add posterized time and reduce the frame rate to 8 frames per second. All right, we animated horizontal lines. Now let's add a displacement map to the text layer and use the mask layer as displacement map layer. Effects and masks. Then we increase the max horizontal displacement and we created a glitch-like texture. 
Let's add some simple noise to text, but only on parts, not all over it. We add our good old friend turbulent noise. Set the contrast to 650. In transform, we shrink it down to 2. Complexity goes up to 10. And we animate the evolution with an expression. Time asterisk 200. Alright, that's all over. To remove parts of it, we duplicate the effect. Reduce the contrast to 185, brightness to 25. We increase the size to 130 and reduce the complexity to 1. Finally, we set the blending mode of this effect to screen. And add posterized time to reduce the frame rate to 4. Let's add one more detail. We need a new white solid, name it mask and copy all the effects from the text layer, Command or Control Z, and paste them to the mask layer, Command or Control V. Delete the top turbulent noise effect though, and set the blending mode of the second one back to normal. We use the layer as LumaTrack mat for the text layer. It makes the noisy parts of the text layer slightly transparent. Awesome! But what if you want the noise to go beyond the letters? We duplicate the text layer and invert the mask, which fills the transparent parts again. Then we add Gaussian Blur to the top of the effect stacking order and set blurriness to around 150. Uncheck Repeat Edge Pixels. The solid looks like this now, blurry parts of letters. We need another effect and add roughened edges. Below Gaussian Blur. We set scale to 10 and complexity to 2. Awesome! Now there is noise reaching beyond the letter shapes. Let's try something more abstract. I've already added a text layer and a luma mask, like before. We duplicate the text layer and change the fill color. I don't know, red maybe. Next we select the mask layer and add turbulent noise again. Contrast 300. We open transform, set scale to around 130 slightly bigger. We set the complexity to 1. Evolution, you know it, an expression, time asterisk 50. Quite slow. Then we add posterize. Without time this time, just posterize. Set level to 4. Let's swap fill and stroke for the bottom text layer and invert the luma mask. Awesome. Camouflage like abstract shapes. Finally, let's let these shapes float around our text. We turn the stroke back into a fill. Then we select the upper text layer and add Gaussian Blur to increase the shape size. Blurriness around 200. We deselect repeat edge pixels. Then for more distortion, we once again add turbulent displays. Amount 100. Size 100. Awesome. So it comes down to a few standard effects when creating textures, but there are endless ways of combining them. And on top of that, adjusting the settings. Check out the free project file, sign up for my newsletter for more content. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Thanks for watching this one, see you in the next one. Bye guys!